All right, we're going to start paper one, math lit of November 2021. Let's jump in. As always, read your instructions. Please make sure that you have your annexures because you're going to struggle to do those questions if you don't. Um, each question needs to start on a new page. Just note that from like a formatting perspective. Then it says round off all final answers, right? Don't round off while you're working. And then not all diagrams are necessarily drawn to scale, right? That's quite important. Okay, and obviously always show your units of measurement, but that goes without saying. All right, let's look at question one. So question one in these um, papers is generally quite finance orientated, um, and it generally starts off quite slow, not too bad, slow burn, and then it kind of ramps up. So let's read. Table one below shows the fuel price in US dollars in six African countries on 0506 2019, and 0103-2021. So that is the 5th of June and that is the 1st of March in those respective years um, with the exchange rate per currency on the 1st of March in 2021. Table 1 shows the fuel price in US dollars in six African countries. So there they are. That is the various prices, right? So this is in US dollars. Be careful. And then it gives the exchange rates here, right? So probably going to have to do a bit of exchange rate work. We're familiar with that for the most part. Don't stress, I'll take you through it. But let's look at this question. So it says use table one to answer the questions that follow. 1.1.1. Calculate the fuel price increase for Zimbabwe from this date to this date. Okay, so there's my girl Zimbabwe, right? So we're literally going to calculate the difference there. So we're going to say 1.258 because that was the larger amount and we're going to take off 0 0.8 right and then that will be our difference so pop that into your calculator 1.258 minus 0 0.8 and the answer is 0 0.458 now importantly um you have to state the currency and it would be in us dollars um you can't actually state a currency with this many um decimal places so you should actually state it like this right but because it's just saying the difference you can leave it like that but i would kind of write both like this just to make sure that you've covered all your bases okay let's move on write down the current exchange rate of the botswana pula to the us dollar in the following format so it says one botswana pula equals how many us dollars now what's interesting here is it's saying 11.14 botswana pula equal one dollar right so it says 11.14 botswana pula i realize that's not the correct um unit but you know what i mean equals one us dollar okay so now we want to make this side one so i'm going to divide it by 11.14 what i do to the one side i have to do to the other side so it's literally going to be like this okay and that is your answer there um, they did ask, how did they ask? They said write it in this way. So I wouldn't really leave it as a fraction. I would put it into my calculator. And then I would pop that in there. So it's 0 0.09766. Okay. Um, sorry, I forgot the 8 there. That was bad. Okay. And that would be your answer. And you'd say US dollars. Again, you could be saying, why don't you round off, Margie? Well, remember here, if I round off, it actually makes it quite different. So I leave it here because it has to be reflected in the exchange rate ratio. So that's why we leave these decimal places. If it was just stating a round amount, then you round it off. So just note that as like a point of sort of exam technique. Okay. Identify the countries which showed a decrease in the fuel price from this date to this date. So which one showed a decrease? That one went up. That one went down. Okay. Now you could be saying, oh, but that looks bigger because there's three more decimals. Remember, what are we comparing here? These two decimals to those two decimals. Which one's bigger? 47 is greater than 25. Therefore, this one went down. Right. Same thing over here. Went down. Over there. Went down. So there's actually three countries. So we're going to say... Angola, Namibia, and Botswana, right? Remember to write correctly, Angola, Namibia, and Botswana. Right, You're making good headway here. Then it says, arrange in descending order, remember descending means go, going down, the fuel price in, the US, in US dollars for this date. Okay, so we're going to look here. 
and it says descending order. Remember, descending means you start from the largest and you go down to the lowest. So what's the largest there? 1.258, that's my largest. Which one comes next? That one, 1.061. What comes after that? Let's look. It should be 87. Remember, you're comparing the first two decimals. So don't get confused because students often want to do like this one because they're like, oh, it's 796. It's not 796. Look at the decimals after, right? The numbers after the decimal and compare those accordingly. Okay, 087. What comes next? I'm going to say uh, 0796, 0 0.732, and then 0 0.254, and that's 6. Do so you see largest to smallest? So be careful there. They're testing whether you understand your decimals, which is quite important. Our last question for this video, the probability of randomly selecting a country that is not South Africa is this right? Because there's six countries, so there's five countries that are not South Africa, and there's six different countries to choose from. That's where it comes from. It says, write this probability in decimal form, rounding to three decimal places. So, how do we do it in decimal form? Well, we just pop it into our calculator. We press equals, and then you press this little button here, STD, and it has that. It's not STD. <laughs> okay, right? And then, so this is like this. Now, why am I stopping there? Because it said three decimal places, right? So what you do when you want to round off to three decimal places is you go to the fourth decimal place and you say, is it below four? If so, we round down. So we did round down. If it was above four, we would round up. So that is our answer there. And that is us done for this question. So we're going to now move on to the next sub question of question one.